All right, this is Jason with the Primal Outdoors channel, and tonight we're going to head out and just do an evening camp. Uh, we're going to stay fairly local tonight just because it's been kind of a wintry mix through here in Central Oregon. Uh, snowing in the morning and then warming up and mostly melting off the snow during the day. But I don't think I could pro I definitely don't think I'll be able to get up anywhere high in the mountains. So I'm going to stay kind of in the lower lands down in the high desert. So I thought what I'd do is try to uh, find a spot along the Crooked River up on the rim and maybe we can get a shot. But as it is, like I said, uh, weather's been real erratic here. And uh, today, you know, we've had sunshine, we've had snow, and right now it's hailing on me. So we'll just kind of have to see how things go. All right guys, so I'm kinda in a hurry. We just pulled into a spot that I think that I'm gonna camp tonight, but I got out and wandered around just a little bit, and I think I have found a shot that I really, really like, but the light is changing all the time. Ugh. The light is changing all the time uh, with these clouds, so if I don't get over there and try to get it shot, uh, the light's gonna change, and I'm not gonna get the shot that I've just saw so let's get over there and see if we can't get a camera set up on it and see if we can get it going well just like that, the shot's gone. Uh, we're overlooking the canyon, and I got out here, and by the time I got the ca uh, camera set up, uh, the clouds rolled in, and it's kinda, I can still see what I'm looking at, but the camera's not gonna pick it up real well because the clouds have moved in and created a kind of a misty fog layer uh, out in front of me and have taken away my clear view of the far mountains in the background that were being lit really cool by some sun. But that's kind of photography and, uh, you know, that's just kind of the way things go from time to time. But let's get back. It's getting late. I'm going to go ahead and get camp set up and uh, we'll maybe just kind of keep an eye on it. Maybe we'll get another opportunity. Okay, so we're finally getting settled in here. I've got a nice fire out in front, camp's all set up. Uh, the dogs have uh, eaten, they're already up in the tent, settled in with the Mr. Buddy heater and staying nice and cozy warm. It's been a fairly decent night so far, no wind, but it's been snowing on and off. Uh, it's just kind of lightly uh, snowing on me right now. I don't know if you guys can pick that up in the camera. But off in the distance, I got some coyotes howling, which I'm not sure you guys can pick that up either, but uh, that's kind of cool. But for the most part, I'm just going to kind of relax by the fire a little bit more. I am getting a bit hungry, so I'm going to start cooking some dinner. I did bring some pork chops with me this time. They were kind of left over from this last week. So I'm just going to slice them up thin, put them in the cast iron skillet, and uh, kind of saute them, and then I'll just add some some rice and cook that all up and call it good. Uh, and then probably just enjoy the fire and a little music for the rest of the evening and uh, eventually head off to bed.
Alright, so we're just starting to kind of get up here. Uh, the dogs are still kind of conked out here in the tent. But uh, I've got my coffee going on my heater. Uh, I forgot my normal CVT hydro flask, so luckily I still had my uh, old Primal Archer logoed hydro flask uh, stowed away in one of my boxes, so we're going to use it. But uh, normal coffee situation. I've been getting a lot of people asking me uh, where. Uh, they can get one of these little funnel things and uh, if you guys ever have any questions about any of the gear I use uh, I do have a link down in the, all my descriptions and it takes you to my website And I think I've got just about everything from camera gear to most everything I use outdoors linked there uh, So you can check that out, but these are like a little Melita. They're called Melita uh, Single cup Joe's or something like that, but yeah, I use these at home and here and they work out really well but anyhow we're gonna get this coffee made and then we're gonna think about getting dressed and uh, getting out of the tent All right, so we've got the camera set up here. Uh, we're back on the rim, kind of where we were yesterday. Uh, the sun is finally starting to kind of make a peek out. The clouds are breaking up just a little bit. We didn't get really anything of a uh, sunrise this morning. It was pretty much all uh, straight, you know, flat clouds, but it was forecasted today for the sun to break up, and I was kind of hoping that would have happened earlier, but it's, it is starting to happen now. And the sun is a little bit high in the sky, but it's lighting uh, this canyon behind me uh, pretty nicely. And because there is still some clouds, it's a, a fairly diffuse light, so it's not real hard, even though the sun's getting a little higher in the sky. But I've got a shot set up, and compositionally, I'm not 100% sure about it. You know, the river is kind of coming in from the left side of the picture, and then uh, starting to venture in towards the center, but then it cuts back to the left, which is not ideal uh, for my leading line. I'd like it to kind of still kind of venture the person back into the center. But as it starts to get to the uh, back end of the photo, the river does take a big bend and you can see that the canyon kind of cuts back around. So it might work, it might not. Uh, all in all, it's fairly well lit. I started to put some filters on, but the, after kind of looking at it a little bit more carefully, I realized that I really don't need the filters, so I'm gonna take those off and uh, just shoot it without filters at 24 millimeters. And it looks like I am at ISO 64 F11 and 1 15th of a shutter speed. Uh, so, but we'll get this uh, taken and we'll see how she comes out.
Uh, all right, so we're kind of getting ready to wrap things up for today. It's actually turned out to be a pretty pleasant day. It's, um, you know, the sun's kind of broken out here and there. It's still fairly cloudy, but it's not real cold. It was fairly chilly this morning, but uh, now it's uh, real, real nice. And uh, no wind, which is always a really, really nice, pleasant thing, especially out here on the high desert, we get wind pretty bad. So uh, a lot of times, so when there's no wind, that's always a nice thing, especially when it's cold. But I'm just gonna kind of let my fire burn down, kind of dink around a little bit around camp, start just kind of slowly but surely packing gear up and getting ready to go. Uh, I'm not sure that this was much of a photography weekend. I, I'm, uh, you guys, if that one picture uh, worked out, you guys have seen it already, but I don't, at this point, don't know if that picture is worth anything. But uh, if it is, it is. If it, you know, if it isn't, you know, I don't, uh, I don't claim to be a master photographer by any means. And a lot of times you just kind of come out and if you get something, great. If you don't get something, well, at least you still got out. And that's the important thing. But, and then speaking of kind of getting out, yesterday I really procrastinated for a long time on where I was gonna go, because it was snowing and then it would stop and then we had snow all week. I just really wasn't sure what the conditions were gonna be like in different areas. You know, was I gonna be able to get in there where there's gonna be too much snow? Was it gonna be muddy because it had warmed up a little bit and started to melt? And I, I you know, really hesitated and, I spent a lot of time on Google Earth, like looking around thinking, okay, where could I possibly go? Where could be good? And you know, and I've been out here before, you guys have seen videos uh, of this area before, and that's just kind of how things go sometimes, uh, especially in the winter time when conditions are always iffy. You know, sometimes I just have to kind of go where, I, where I'm comfortable and where I know, uh, especially when, uh, when I only got a short period of time to get out and that like I did this time with only one day. So anyhow, I hope you guys still enjoyed it and I hope you guys uh, will uh, still leave some comments and uh, give me some likes on this video and we'll catch you guys again outside. <laughs>